All right, who's up for a drink? Welcome back to the second to last day of the Coffees of Fall. Uh, brought to you by Barissimo, available at Aldi's, presented by me. Um, today we have maple pecan. Now, earlier we had southern pecan. Uh, maybe this is the answer. Uh, <laughs> you just put maple on it, it becomes a northern thing. Um, the aroma is already very maple-y. Um, it, is, it is definitely maple. So I don't know if this is like the... Uh, the roasted pecans where you put some maple syrup in there and get it all crunchy with some, mm, you know, yum, yum. Yeah, I'm all about that. Um, I'm picking up a lot of butter kind of aromas. And it could just be my mind going, oh, maple, pancakes, butter, you know, that kind of thing. Because, you know, your your memories and your tastes, your, your aroma taste, aroma knowledge association and flavor association is really from your experience. Where, you know, sometimes you'll smell something and go, oh, grandma. But that's an entirely, you know, no one else, that's not grandma for anyone else outside of your family. Um, but but for you, that's your association. So maybe maple is just triggering pancakes. Is it breakfast time yet? Yeah, it's very, very much on the strong on the maple, and I'm I'm thinking I'm picking up that pecan nuttiness very subtly underneath everything. Let's see, I, I just like watching the steam. All right, well, hey, I know the smell is great, or at least enjoyable to me. Uh, let's see how it tastes. Okay, the pecan comes through right up front. It's that, it's almost like a, a very precision, you know, based. Yep, this is the nuttiness right out there, boom. And one thing I've noticed through these, through this pack is, you know, even with the flavors that they have, I'm not really getting much of the coffee uh, aspect of it. So, you know, um, I believe this is, 100% Arabica, but I'm not sure of the origin of the bean. Uh, you know, when I when I do cold brew reviews or or other coffee reviews, I really like to focus on the bean or the origin of the bean to really get what flavors the bean is providing. Um, so, oh yeah, that that butteriness lingers on the on the aftertaste. Yeah, this is definitely, definitely a fall coffee. You know, I might even say it could be a winter coffee. You know, because this, this is a huddled up underneath a blanket, maybe on a, you know, yes, yeah, some old married guy with kids going out on a, uh, you know, wintry kind of sleigh ride through one of the, you know, little farms, you know, just, just watching the snow come down. Yeah, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Um, yeah, the maple aroma off the top was boom. The pecan comes through much more on, on the taste. You get that buttery, caramely lingering thing on the um, on the finish. Oh yeah, and, and the, the pecan is still there too. So yeah, this is the coffee that will stick around for you. So so don't don't drink this if you're you know if you're trying to eat something else that you're wanting to taste. This, this, I think this is a very dominant, powerful flavor that will stick with you. All right, well, hey, until tomorrow on the last day, cheers. What's in your cup? <laughs>